Hello everyone, welcome back to Armenia Rising. This is chapter 15 if I'm not mistaken. So let's have a look guys at what's happening here. So Tribali have apparently been destroyed. Historical message. Now we um, invested Egbatana last turn. So this is our prince, Mr. Ara. And Egbatana has, uh, where is it? Here. Right, he has a small-ish garrison. So I'm hoping to um, be able to actually assault it soon. So in Yervanda Shad we managed to build Mint and I think we're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Demolition complete. Yeah, in Ostroene guys, this is the town I captured last time. What I want to do, I want to actually destroy this all together, but there is a salt on the resource. So what I want to do, I want to be able to exploit that. If I destroy this uh, theater building, then I will be able hopefully to replace it with that salt. However, in terms of, uh, you know, there are other buildings, we need to convert them. Let's convert this to something that is closer to our own culture. And Ladito goes for, let's see actually, can I retrain anything else here? No. So we're still waiting for these two units to be recruited here and then we'll make our move from here. Uh, in terms of government building, I think I'm going to go for and uh, let's see which one offers us yeah let's go for the noble uh, estates yeah this gives us the biggest garrison it seems to me with a seven and uh, nine units of light infantry so let's go with that and this one unfortunately as you can see i cannot really do anything about it because i have no technology available to actually take advantage of this uh but that's okay i guess i'll just have to yeah all of this leads to what is this Feudal lands, yeah, feudal lands we do not have. And what about, oh, this one needs slaves resource as well. So we're going to leave this as is. I think it still produces food, which is pretty good. Let's have a look what else is happening here. There's a cold spring in Cappadocia, unfortunately for us. Yeah, and again, I'm not upgrading any of this because I don't want to destroy my uh, sanitation in these uh, places and I'm selling slaves here in um, in this newly conquered settlement we have plenty of slaves here 25 percent I think we started with uh, so yeah they're causing a bit of an unrest so hopefully 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 as the slaves decrease in number I guess we should have less unrest I'm not sure but it, it adds to our income which is okay so here guys I'm waiting for a couple, uh, couple of more units to be recruited and I'm also replenishing which is always good now the Seleucids had they had an army here a whole full stack there's still one more stuck still where it used to be this guy I'm not sure if this is the general that we uh, defeated last turn but it seems to be there are some generals ah yeah th this is the one okay so they still have them in a def defensive posture in Syria there's one more general here I used to defeat previously defeat so let's see if I can move my spy a little bit closer here I just don't want to be surprised uh, by their sudden attack on us we have one spy here let's see if we can actually disrupt the government building here all right spy success okay managed I don't know what that actually does Apart from, you know, they're losing some of these bonuses, but it doesn't deplete garrison or anything like that. Maybe it will help with undermining their public order, which is quite high, 22 plus, and it's already at a max. So not much to write home about there. And they have this wandering army. Hopefully, uh, uh, oh yes, Iconian, uh, Iconian, Iconian, call it whatever you like, has been taken over by the Colchis, which is great. So they are launching their own uh, attack on the Seleucids. I wish someone would attack and take these coastal settlements here as well, and that'd be helpful. Uh, but yes, yeah, Seleucids are still a superpower to be reckoned with. But today we're going to chip at their superpower a little bit more, and we're going to go for uh, a Batana. Okay, let's guys, let's assault this, this city today. Oh no, we're still waiting as well. Okay, yeah, we're not going to do it this turn. Okay, that's fine. We're still waiting for uh, this to be complete for some reason. I assume that it has been apparently it hasn't okay let's continue siege okay that's all we can do here for now let's scout ahead with this fella here see if there's anything coming up from any threats from the east no it doesn't look like it okay let's end this turn here 
Okie doke, here we are. Judean rebels have been destroyed, unfortunately for them. Uh, spy exposed. Okay, yeah, we're just keeping an eye on these two armies. They're still in place. They're recruiting the third, which does not look very good. But the good news is my allies, my vassals, are making a, a move here on Mira, which is fantastic. They have a f almost full stack and they're recruiting one more here. Always helpful. Uh, and they also besieged Amasia here, which is fantastic. Nicomedia as well, hopefully will be at some point attacked. This is Makedon, uh, you know, sailing somewhere. I'm not sure what's going on. So guys, here we are. We almost managed to uh, replenish here. We have few units that still could use some replenishment. But other than that, we're actually good to go. Adessa and Amida. Let's see which one is the strongest. Uh, Adessa has the weaker one. However, Amida is closer to my home provinces so this is something i need to be thinking about i think i'm going to go for amida after uh yeah after this 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 settlement will be oh yes fantastic so what we wanted to build here is something to do with salt extraction so let's go for this it will give us a bit of a income and resource bonus however it comes at a, a price of squalor and public order penalty but hopefully hopefully these buildings will help to deal with that and we also need to establish garrison there okay before we do anything there let's move on to uh, further uh, announcements yeah I've given a uh, military access to Cartley they've paid me a little bit of money uh, I've done that because they actually also are at war with Seleucid so they can maybe cross into this territory if they wanted to and you know uh, yes fantastic so syrian levies have been levied <laughs> and uh, into our uh, royal host here fantastic news so let's go after egbatana guys so we hope we're all ready everything's been built they have a couple of units of pikemen and they have hosp hosp uh, uh, hoplites sorry uh, very dangerous and then some militia three units okay let's go for three units of uh, pikes and a cavalry unit let's go for it Okay guys, here we are. So we surrounded this wall on three sides, basically. We have uh, one group of units over on this side and it's mostly cavalry because this is the only side apart from the opposite one here when there is a gatehouse. So I'm going to break into the gatehouse, hopefully destroy the gates and unleash my cavalry. So I have some on this side here and I've also got, yeah, some over on here. On this side so to be able to then you know bring my cavalry in and to start uh, destroying uh, whatever yeah, I would encounter there the rest of my infantry they're not particularly good infantry so I'm not holding my breath but I hope this will be enough and I have them mostly on this side here so I have with the rams and all the rest of that so this side over here will mostly be based on attack by my infantry and these two uh, entries will hopefully be assaulted by my cavalry as soon as we break down the gates. And I have one supporting unit of infantry here as well, uh, which is also light, uh, levy, levy infantry from Caucasia, if I remember correctly. Black Sea Militia, okay, there you go. Right, enemy has been sighted where? What is happening here? Yeah, of course they've been sighted, um, and that's the whole point. We're going to be hopefully sight them. And, oh, look, they have... That's not looking good. Yeah, the weather is uh, favorable to us. As you can see, it's raining. And this is great because they have three units of Cretan archers. So hopefully it will diminish the effectiveness of their archery, especially of flaming arrows. I hope this will not work as effectively as it could have in a dry, clear weather, which is fantastic. It's quite moist, as you can see, quite wet. Uh, yeah, so that should do it for us because we actually don't have any archers of our own again. I'm reluctant to recruit them because from my experience with them in Ancient Empire, they just rout as soon as the enemy comes within sight. They can't really even, you know, shoot a couple of arrows without, without being f uh, frightened and running for their lives. So unfortunately, that's how it stands for now. And therefore, I'm quite unrealistically, I must admit, not recruiting and um, these guys, uh, although I should be really doing that because this is Armenian army, a lot of uh, long distance missile troops should be employed. Um, I didn't see any slingers to be fair in this region, I think. Yeah, but archers are uh, maybe in the future I will employ some more of them. They were not particularly 
uh, useful I thought in these circumstances okay so are we mounting the walls the walls yes yes hopefully hopefully this unit here who are they oh yes uh, they are mercenary cretans cretans against cretans like I don't understand guys like why are they facing this way is this vanilla setting right like whoever designed this and what were they thinking like honestly uh, well anyway <laughs> this is one of those vanilla things that I just I just don't get I just think what is this like laziness or what is that like how is that um, justifiable this deployment uh, default deployment in such a fashion I don't know if you do let me know maybe I'm just you know ignorant and maybe it does make sense uh, right so Cretans are up on the wall they're losing a lot of men however these guys are up there as well we're going to attack these Cretans now hopefully go for it boys yeah go for it go for it excellent uh, this funny music it reminds me of Britain Wall Day this is a mod that I played to death mod for a warband uh, Mountain Blade Warband it is fantastic mod and the game as well uh, really really good I'm just waiting for Banner Lord now to sort its act and uh, sort itself out what's happening guys why are you not battering this yeah come on come on let's do this yeah and then I'm gonna get back to Banner Lord at some point once it's you know ready to be consumed and there was lots of issues the last time I played wasn't particularly impressed and this was this still is an early beta oh did they which one which one did they destroy let's see no this one we manage and this one we are doing all right as well for now it seems uh, which one they have destroyed oh well it doesn't matter now it doesn't really matter because what I'm going to do I enough I have enough men on the wall to start uh, assaulting them all right these guys uh, we also trying to destroy these cretans which we are doing quite you know successfully I would say Oh, actually, guys, can you target these fellas here? Can you? Without actually running. Yeah, yeah, someone does shoot at them, it seems. That is looking good. Aha, uh -huh, they're now running away cleverly enough. Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to instead destroy these uh, fellas first. And uh, the Cretans, uh, Cretan archers there. Yeah. Excellent. All right, yeah, the tower over there has been destroyed. Indeed. Let's attack this unit of Cretan archers, guys. Yeah, go for it. And you fellas as well. And we have managed, actually... Oh, look, cleverly they bring in their pikes. This is very good to see. So they will be now making my life miserable because I was hoping <laughs> to bring this cavalry. Uh, let's actually do this. Let's bring this cavalry forward anyway. Yeah, let's move them like so. Go for it. Okay. And... These Cretans, look at them, they're tough, aren't they? I was expecting this fight to be resolved rather soon, but it hasn't been resolved. And, yeah, we have some militia. Militia uh, levies, basic uh, levies, trying to assault the walls. And there's this unit of missile. Are they firing? Yeah, they're firing, that's okay. I'm going to bring my unit of spearmen. And I'm going to... Actually, they freed up they freed up and uh, the entry here into the city let's let's go let's go with our cavalry straight into it which one oh uh, well it's the javelin news i believe that's fine all right guys let's go let's go this way okay okay so yeah all of this men will be brought in hopefully yeah go for it guys we're managing to make some headway here and at the same time yeah, we broke into the tower here as well. So let's bring all of this cavalry. Let's bring them down here. Go for it. Go for it, guys. Go for it. And you fellas. A uh, unit of skirmishers here. Where are you? Yeah, let's get inside as well. Let's get inside. There you go. Okay, fantastic. There's one more unit of melee cavalry. Let's bring them in as well. There you go. Good stuff. So we're trying to penetrate the city now. Which is good cataphracts let's get you guys out of there let's bring you here uh, so they trying to defend the entry I still have idle units here I should really start bringing them down I have several of them idle units in fact let's get you downstairs down here who where 
Ah, damn, yeah, well, that's not a surprise, unfortunately. Let's bring my cavalry up here. Yeah, they brought unit of uh, bronze shields down here. This is not very good for us. Uh, let me bring my general around, actually. Yeah, let's get you down here. Why are this unit are not attacking? Go, go for it, guys. What happens? Yeah, it looks like they were marching, but they're not marching. I'm not sure. Galatians. Yeah, the Galatians I'm uh, counting on to do a lot of damage here, hopefully. Right. No, guys, you don't need to get bogged down here, please. All right, let's see. Okay, excellent, excellent. So they bring their unit of cavalry. We're going to attack them. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's bring my unit of missiles. Yeah, I'm going to try and lure them away. All of these units, I don't want to get engaged here. Let's try and capture this. Capture this place, fellas. And you as well. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, don't engage their uh, pikemen. It's pointless. Uh, pointless exercise. Let's attack this unit from the rear, from the flank, if we can. Yeah, good, 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 good stuff. Let's get you guys up on the wall attacking this unit from this direction. And these two units, I think I'm going to ask you guys to come this way. Yeah, go. Ah, and go after this unit here. So, good stuff. Galatius. This unit is still... <coughs> oh, sorry. Who does? Who does? Flee. I don't know. Oh, it's one of these units. Okay, okay, that's fine. That is to be expected. Let's go after them. Let's go after them. Uh, you fellas as well. Engage, engage, engage. Who's this? This unit got bogged down. Now let's get you out of there. In fact, let's redirect one of our spearman units here. Oh, sorry, swordsman unit there. Over there. Okay, so we managed to route those cretins. Let's attack. Let's bring these guys down from the wall. Okay, okay, looking good. You guys can target them, can you? Yes. Okay, yeah, so we managed to defeat this unit too. Let's see, can I bring my... What's happening here? Ah, the Cretans. Yeah, let's attack them. The Cretans here. Let's try and attack them. Actually, let me just redirect all of my cavalry from here up onto this unit here. Yeah, let's go for it. And my general will be brought in as well. Go. Um, oh yes, we lost a unit of, I think it was a unit of, uh, this is going to be tough, a unit of light spearmen that got routed there, but I think I'm going to dispatch, yeah, another unit up there to support, okie doke, who does where, yeah, that's the problem, ah, well, that's okay, that's okay, there's no surprise there, really, uh, yeah, go for it, and this unit of Parthian archers, they're still targeting this unit, which is great, uh, what else we've got here? Okay, we're routed. Cataphracts have routed their unit or whatever it was. Let's bring them all up and onto this square if we can. Oh, no, this unit hasn't routed. Uh, or have they? There's icon here. It's missing. It's just hidden in the tower. No, they're still fighting. They're still fighting. They're doing all right, actually. I thought they routed, but no. This is Caucasian Black Sea Militia or whatever they were called. All right, let's go with you. Oh, this is Galatians. I didn't want you there, guys. I want you here. What I can do there is bring my lighter unit. Yeah, you spearman and uh, swordsman here this way as well. There's one more unit of their hoplites, it seems like. Oh, you see, Hippospis, they are a pain. Pain to deal with, absolute pain. Okay, let's get my cavalry away from there. Let's attack. Uh, Cataphrats, no, you don't go there anymore. Actually, can you come this way? Yes, you can. Go. Go. Target them. Yeah, I don't want my units here engaged in melee with... Uh, yeah, we have swordsmen for it. Let's go for it. Excellent. Now, have we engaged... Yeah, Galatians have managed to engage this, their spearmen, our half-naked. Galatians. It's interesting, some of them have full armor, some of them have no, none at all. Uh, who did? Where? Someone managed. Oh yeah, okay, that's fine. Cataphracts, let's charge them from this side. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Because we engage them with our light swordsmen on this side and let's just impact. 
There you go. There you go. Fantastic. Looking fantastically good. Hellenistic uh, settler gold shields. Wow. Okay. So we're managing to hammer them. And with these guys, actually, you have some ammo? No, perhaps not. Right. Let's support the cataphracts, guys. Let's do that. All of you. Yeah. All of you. Let's go. What's happening down here? Aha. So this is our general. Let's support him. Let's bring him over here. And then we're going to support uh, a unit. Yeah. Let's capture this place. And both of these units, these guys and the Galatians, will hopefully attack their unit of bodyguard. And then I'll bring my general up this way and attack them. Excellent. Excellent, excellent stuff. All right. So, yeah, we have one more unit of uh, swordsmen over there. Got the frogs are taking some heavy damage here. Uh, let's attack them. Let's withdraw them. Okay, and let's attack this unit. Yes, excellent. It does. Yeah, it does. Excellent. Let's attack. There you go. Smashed into their unit of militia, or whatever they were. Hopefully that will do it. Yeah, it does the job. Excellent. Now let's bring the captain uh, general this way. And let's bring both of you fellas upon this unit of swordsmen and unit of whatever they are. Alright, this way. Riders advance and do I have any support? Okay, this unit is gone. Yeah, these guys are still attacking them. Yeah, let's bring these two units over here, like so. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. And then you can hit these guys in the rear. Okay. And yeah, let's let's position you there, guys, for this assault. Attack. And attack and then okay these guys are ready now let's go i don't know if it's enough distance for a proper ch uh, charge yeah yeah does the job does the job it seems fantastic excellent job okay that should do it for now and in fact i think i need to start bringing as soon as this place has been captured i think i'm gonna bring my general forward as well to attack this unit uh, of the, the cataphracts i think or whatever they are all right, let's get out of there, out of there. What is this tower here? What is this supposed to represent? This tower um, icon, not sure. Okay, yeah, so these guys are hurrying to the aid. Excellent, we captured this point. Let's bring the horse upon this unit here. Yes, excellent, where is it? All right, uh, over here, yes. Yeah. So we are managing to do quite a bit of capturing here as we go and uh, let's attack them as well okay so we're out of ammo now we need to withdraw this unit let's bring you is there any other points we want to capture no not really let's just bring out of the harm's way over there and there's one more unit here as well bring you guys over there yes yeah, so excellent so my general is now charging in fantastic charging the spears from the side uh, looking good uh, excellent excellent he doesn't have any rallying or anything like that, no abilities at all, it seems. Alright, let's withdraw these two units of cavalry. You guys go out, the Galatians will hopefully do the job there. These guys, oh yes, excellent, so they have gold and shields almost routed now. Yes, they done, okay, they done for. Okay, now let's readdress the situation here a little bit. So they have, they have, they have one more unit of... Uh, pikes okay and now the Galatians I think it's the job for you guys to actually come and deal with them there let's attack this unit yeah this unit here these two are still holding strong you see 91 172 but you know I to be fair all I have here are the couple of units of uh, peasants levy spearmen very very lightly armed with the kite shields and etc and this side likewise and they are uh, Competed against uh, Cretans and some of their pikemen, I think. They are, yeah, there they are. Have they? Where? Ah, yeah, on the wall. Yeah, well, I'm not too concerned, to be honest. Right, Galatians, attack. Who is this? Is this our uh, cataphrag unit? Yeah, let's get you out of there, boys. And our general, let's get you out as well. Uh, they're firing from their towers, which is something I could actually 
capture. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's capture them towers. And there's more. There's more. There's one here uh, as well. And there's more still. I believe there is one. Where is it? Is there more capturing points? Yeah, there's one here. Let's go for this. It's just that so that they don't shoot at us, you know. Because it's exceedingly annoying. Excellent. Go. Go. And unit of... Uh, another unit of white. Let's actually bring you guys this way if I can. And this is fellas as well. And now two units of my cavalry. I'll be bringing them around. No, no, no. This way. This way. Yeah, this way. There you go. Okay, excellent. We have two more units on this side. Um, that's okay. Let them come this way, actually. Actually, yes. So we're capturing these points, are we? Yeah, capture it, guys, please. Go for it. I hope that will disable the towers. I'm not sure. We shall see. Okay. Right, this way. So is this Hippaspists? No, no, Gold Shield, sorry. Mercenaries, they're doing a good job, these uh, fellas, these Galatians. So let's bring this unit here as well. And now what we can do is bring these two units. Oops, oops, no, 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 no. Let's bring you guys, yeah, this way. Yeah, like so. Then we're going to attack them. And these guys, this way as well. Basically trying to surround them. And we still have some things uh, we need to take care of here on the wall, though, which is not looking good for us at all. But we'll leave it for now. Hopefully, once they're down, we shall see. Then I might dispatch. Yeah, cataphracts attack. You guys attack as well. Excellent. Let's go for it. Let's see. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Doing good. Doing good here. That uh, is looking good. Yeah, in fact, they're almost done for. Yeah, there you go, done. Now, the only problem we have. Oh, end battle. <laughs> I thought I'll take. I'll have to take care of this, uh, fellas. That's fantastic. Close victory. Let's end it here. Okay. Yeah, we lost almost half of our army. This is not good. But hopefully, we captured this place. Wow, Galatians killed 135, General killed 181, how did he manage? 165, 79, these guys did good as well, well done. Yeah, because General, he joined the fight quite late, didn't he? Nevertheless, oh yes, I'm, I'm unfortunately lost mounted nobles. This one is easily replaced, not a biggie. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's loot, no, let's just occupy Aha, uh -huh, fantastic. Look, the morale goes up. Uh, excellent. Integrity goes up. Fantastic stuff. Okay, let's give him movement range. And let's give him upkeep for naval cost. Oh, for land as well as. Okay, that's good. So what does he have here? Morale for general's bodyguard. Excellent. And he also has personal. Oh, yes, fantastic. This is good. 15% plus to the size of his bodyguard unit. Let's see what we can recruit here. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Thureoporoi and Midoi allies. Okay. Uh, let's get one of these guys. Oh, only one turn it takes. That's fantastic. Who's this? Oh, this I've never seen this unit before. Light slingers. Okay. And who is this? Uh, this is sort of light skirmishes. Uh, seven. No, these are superior. Okay. So let's go for. Let's go for. What else can I do? Let's go for two units of this, right? Yeah, let's go for them. Fantastic. So that's that. And uh, what else we need to do here? Okay. So this, I think I'm going to leave this here in place to continue fully replenishing. We shall see. Also, keeping an eye on these units here, these two armies. See, look at armies in this area. Now, let's see what's the damage here. I think I'm going to go for rebuilding everything because I do have the money, you know, it's not a biggie. Ah, yes, in Egbatana, look, we also have iron. So, for iron, uh, I think what I need to do is get rid of... We actually have a, enough communal land in this province. Let's see. Food, 95, 40. Yeah, we're doing all right food-wise. Yeah, plenty of food. So, in Egbatana, maybe we should... Dist ah, this is level... No, I don't want to destroy this. Let's destroy this barracks. Actually, what can I replace it with? 
uh, uh, you know, because I want to be able to exploit the food here. All right, let's let's destroy it. Let's destroy it and see what it's gonna yield here, uh, here instead. This is level four, you know. Otherwise, I would have destroyed this as well. But we shall we shall see next turn. Okay, let's end this turn here quickly and see Imperium gain. Excellent. Give our people a little gold. Okay, that's interesting. So they want to become, wish to become the my puppet Indy. state. Okay, shall we do that? And they are at war with the uh, Macedonians. Okay. Uh, right, let's see. Okay. Okay, yeah, doke. So I have two puppet states now. How cool is that? <laughs> now, does that also mean I'm at war with Macedon as well now? No, no, okay, that's fine. And uh, where are these other guys that I've just allied with? Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so they now at war with Seleucids uh, with me. Fantastic. Instead of Macedonians. That is excellent news. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we managed to recruit and we're still replenishing here. Let's leave it there. Uh, yeah, this army is ready to go apart from this unit, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter too much. Okay. Oh, what's happening? There's one. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's three, three armies here now in Syria alone. That is really, really scary. Okay. All right, guys. I think we're going to leave this episode here now. And I think we're doing okay. So we uh, gained one more vassal state. I need to think about where I want to move with this army Amida or Edessa. One of those. And then ho hopefully Osrayene will be ours as well. Here. The Rage here, one more settlement. That's too far, too far east for my liking. Instead, Arbella would be a better target, but now it's a different province, you see, so it's a bit tricky. Uh, let's see, actually, in fact, do I need... No, we cannot have any more governors. Okay, in terms of our power, we're actually gaining some now. Okay, that's good. We're still lousy. Control is 100%, but Gravitas is nowhere near where you want it to be. In fact, can we actually give you an office, fella? Uh, master of the horse, perhaps? Okay, we, we shall see. I'll think about it in the next chapter, in the next episode. Thanks a lot for stopping by, guys. And I shall see you in the next episode.